We have to learn with our head and our heart. I think it is important in the midst of learning about injustices from the past that students are given the skills to get along with new and different people to hopefully build a better future. My name is Whitney Gaskell. I'm the fourth and fifth grade teacher here at Silverton. My students this semester went on a week-long road trip of Colorado and they really spent all semester leading up to that, gaining a lot of skills as historians. We met high schoolers that opened a museum that had done their part to keep history alive. We wanted to do that same thing here in Silverton and bring to light a story that is not very well documented here. It was time for the students to reflect and figure out how they can use what they've learned to make our community better. Because we focus so much on diversity throughout the semester, at the cemetery I asked my students to look for clues. How diverse was Silverton in the past? My group noticed this weird stone. It didn't have a name on it, and it said, in memory of all the Chinese who lived and died in Silverton and who were denied burial in Hillside Cemetery. This marker kind of becomes the basis of what we've called our history mystery, and we go all over town looking for clues related to it. After we visit the cemetery, we visit our own local museum. Because the students have done so much field work, I use this day to challenge them to really evaluate the museum. I ask, does our museum do a good job of telling history from more than one perspective? Can we find any information about Chinese Americans? In the museum, I didn't see a lot of diversity. I saw a lot of mining history. We went to an archive. We found no clues, although the person we met with, Ray, he told us to look in newspapers from that time. So we looked in the newspapers and that gave us lots of information. The Chinese came here because of the gold rush, but the miners didn't let the Chinese mine here because they will work for cheaper. Others say that the Chinese were going to take all the opportunities of businesses. Did you know the Chinese had a restaurant here but no people went to eat? Some people broke windows in their businesses. They put ropes around their necks and took them to the canyon and told them to hike away to scare them away. Ure thought the state should investigate because they were trying to kill and get rid of them. And Silverton was trying to cover it up. They treated them like animals to get them out of town. It was tragic. I think people should know about this. We should be in the newspaper or in the Denver Post. After our visit to the museum and archives, we brainstormed how we could use what we've learned so far to make the world better. We could add more things to our museum, like diverse cultures, so that way your museum could tell more than one perspective and more points of view. We brainstormed all the ways we knew to keep history alive and voted on our favorite ones. Now we had some goals for our Better World project. We wanted to rebuild something, tell a story, and create an exhibit. We went on a hike to see where they planted their garden, but it didn't look like there was a garden there. They had to walk three miles to get to the garden because they were excluded. So we are making a garden with things they grew in Silverton. This is our way to help make it fair. Now we know what we can build, a garden. But we want to make an exhibit and we don't have any artifacts. We decided to write letters to the State Museum. Did you get a letter from the History Colorado Society? Yeah! We have received your letters and requests for a donation of historic artifacts for your exhibit at the San Juan County Historical Museum. Yes. We would be quite honored to assist with your exhibit by loaning a small representation of objects associated with the Chinese American community from the turn of the 20th century. Yes. Now that we know we are getting artifacts, we want people to come to our grand opening. Colorado has lots of diverse places and people, so our museum should have lots of diverse artifacts. We need to have more information about different cultures in our museum because we need to remember all history. It is important to bring this up so we do not make the same mistake again. We need to learn to be less hateful to other cultures. It's amazing to see students take what they've learned to really contribute to our community. They walk away from this project with the knowledge that certain parts of history can be erased if people don't step up to preserve it. And they got to be the ones to do that.